Hey everybody, Spoonhead here, and we're gonna do another mission because it's been ages, and I want to do that. So we're gonna do realistic mission nine. Um, I've heard you're good at hacking and all the right side of things, so I'm gonna look to you. Need help and money? Help me get my money. Oh, get my money, bitch. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's okay, let's go. Uh, we need that one. So to log in. So log in. Yeah, yeah. I love my work. Go. Nope. Right, so pay salaries. But I'm an administrator. Now we're gonna get an administrator. Well, apparently we need that one. That one and that one. Alright, let's go for that then. How are we going to get that? Well Um we're gonna private message that guy and we'll say how is it going? I already set up a exploit, which I'll explain. Basically, what this does is it will say redirect this window to your site or whatever you have it to have the cookie stealer script, a PHP file, and the innocent equals document cookie will tag in the current cookie, and we will get this cookie. So it says it's beyond the scope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit all of our things. So we're gonna say edit. We'll make that just a character because we don't need. Do we? Well, apparently yes, like so. Um, password, of course. The password, the password, the password. No, we need everything. Copy. Um, the password here. Edit. Right here. And we'll change this int ID to 1. Go. Alright, now we should be able to get into the pay salaries. Yes, and there we are. There we are. That's, it's that easy. Now, apparently, he says he's not stopped paying our salaries, right? He stopped paying our salaries. No, you stop paying your salary. So if I would see this, I would say, what did you do to not get your money? But all right, this must be apparently he paid himself twice. That's also something to take notice. Well, anyway, we're gonna pay it. So all right, so yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for my salary. You really own. Don't forget to clean locks by subscribing to them. That sounds weird, but it's actually a very good tip. So go to the main list, it says here, this adds your email to the list, and at the same time checks the list for anything without the add character, and deletes it. That's handy. So if we go here, you can see that in the logs, in the logs, you can check the downloads, the only has is cool. We could download this and see what it does actually, but meh. No, no. So in the logs text, there's this, and it's a fake thing, of course. But it's good to learn the best practices. So um, here, oh no, that's not what I wanted. I needed another thing from that. One moment, that's there we go. Because um, I already have it here. Yes, all right. So, just gonna get that IP address. Doesn't really matter because it will delete any anything else without a add character. So, just put in that. We'll put in that, and we'll change. Uh, we'll do HTML. Find files. So there we go. And we'll make this. Um, Logs, logs text. So there we go. We change that. We say subscribe, and we should be done. Congrats, congratulations! We just finished another mission. So that's uh, basically the um, non-persistent cross-site scripting attack, which means. Um, 
it only works in a private message. If it's persistent, you can get loads of people to uh, load a specific kind of URL which hosts the cross-site scripting vulnerability. That's a persistent one. And this is non-persistent one because it you need to send this specific email or a specific private message to one person and it only works for that person if that person clicks on it so it needs to log in and sort of that sort of stuff. Um yeah it was that simple. Well simple it's technically uh this one is simple in this case but I mean to actually do this in real life you need some little bit more skills because if you just send this now I think you will be banned instantly and it won't work but you never know. Um, yeah, that's it for uh, this mission.